Hey Dan here. Today I'm going to teach you how to use some really cool JavaScript code that I had written for me that allows me to get my clients more sales and more leads online. Okay, so I'm going to take you through this code right here and actually let you watch over the shoulder while I implement it on my website. And then afterwards I'm going to go through the code and teach you how you can actually change it to meet your specific requirements. So if I first just come into here, so if you're on YouTube, click on the link in the description and it will take you through to this blog post right here. If you're watching on the blog, then if you scroll up, you'll see this code. So if we grab this from where it's got the opening script tag all the way down to the closing div tag and we copy that, we then want to paste this in just above our closing body tag. So I'm going to do this using um, this website. This website is obviously built in WordPress, but I just want to point out, make very clear that it doesn't need to be a WordPress site. You can use this on any website at all that you can edit the HTML. So I'm just going to go ahead and open that up. So here's my footer.php file and I've got this open and now I'm going to scroll down and then as I say, just above that closing body tag right there, we're going to paste in all that code and then save that and then we've got to upload that back to the server and then we need to open up the style.css um, file so I'm going to do that now so I've now got my style.css open and what we need to do is go back to the blog post right here and then copy all of this CSS code and then paste that in so we're going to look for somewhere that's just above the responsive stuff but you could paste this anywhere you feel is um, you know appropriate okay so that's right here so I'm just going to paste this in here and then save this and upload this back to the server. And now that that's finished uploading, when we go to the website, if we refresh, what will happen is, is you'll see at the bottom as long as it's, uh, oh no, right, what will happen is nothing. And the reason why is because in the code right here, what it says is that the opening hours on Sunday are none, don't open on, don't show on Sunday. Um, the opening hours on Monday are 9 a.m. until 5 p.m. Uh, and today is Thursday and it's got 9 a.m. until 5 p.m. and it's actually right now it's quarter to 8 p.m. so I'm up a little bit late on the computer um, so what we need to do is for this example is we need to go into here and actually change this for today so Thursday I'm gonna go ahead and change this to be 9 p.m. for now and save this and upload that to the server and now that that's finished uploading when we go back to here and we refresh we should get the um, box come up at the bottom like that and so that does a few different things so having that box there obviously it looks really cool because it looks a little bit like the uh, talk to but without having to have somebody actually there and manning that or responding to these messages it can just force people through to actually pick up the phone which is great for companies that don't really have a great grasp of technology for example uh, or that aren't really a, you know all that sort of up for getting someone dedicated to talking to people on, on, a, on a chat widget um, and forcing more conversions that way but it's also great for econ websites where you're basically trying to get people to go through the checkout that aren't really comfortable and we've got need help here the whole time uh, and they can just go ahead and click on that and call up and you know get any sort of objections they've got answered by the sales team uh, it works really well. I actually got this idea from uh, Bridget Brennan's book, Why She Buys. And if when you look in analytics, if you've got a predominantly female audience, um, you definitely want to want to go ahead and read that book. But that's where this idea come from. So if this this right here, if this gets clicked on, what happens is is it pops up like this, and it says phone lines are open, and then you'd obviously replace this with your telephone number. And that will, because in the code it's got the G tag in there, that will actually go ahead and fire off an event that we can track in analytics and see just how many people actually click on that. Um, and it's really quite good um, to see those numbers coming back because a lot of people do. Um, most people don't, but a lot of people do. And, and you know, that can really help drive those, those extra sales or extra leads through. So just to go through the code to explain it, basically what happens here is... <clears throat> Um, how you would change this is basically you've got this right here is all the different days and so we've got night it's, it's like a 24-hour clock so it's you know 0900 that's 9 a.m. you could put 30 there and that would be 930 um, you know 45 945 you could change it that way um, this one right here where it's 0000, 0, 0, 0 and then the same thing again this is because we actually have this day as closed and we'll get onto that in a minute um, but then yeah so you could just go ahead and change these if you wanted to have different opening hours on different days like I just did uh, to get it to show right now at uh, just coming up to 8 
So that's really quite easy to, to edit and I actually asked the developer to make this easy to edit specifically because I knew I'd use this on a lot of projects. Um, and I did and it works really well by the way. Um, but then right here what we've got is the different days that we want to be closed every single year. So um, you know I've got set there December the 25th so that's Christmas Day and then the 26th that's Boxing Day. Obviously we're never going to be open on those days. Uh, but you could go ahead and put this in for various different days that you know that you close on every single year. Uh, you might want to put New Year's Day in here as well. I mean, the particular company that I, I got this, uh, the client that I got this written for, uh, would, would not be wanting to close on New Year's Day. But, you know, it, it can really be edited quite easily. And what you would do is, obviously, you'd copy this one, paste it underneath, but make sure you have that comma there. Um, to separate it out so you are going to need to know some some development stuff to do this But obviously if you do this is going to be really good if not hire a developer send them this video send them this link And they're going to be able to get this done easy because all the hard work's already been done um, So then as we come down here, we've got the if current weekday equals Sunday return false this is kind of self-explanatory But it's basically just saying if when it's when it's checking what day it is it's Sunday then don't do what we're about to ask it to do and then the same thing for Saturday so where I've got these two zero zeros like this um, you know it's looking at both of those so if you did want to open on Saturday you would delete this one and then you would change this to be you know whatever your opening hours are like that um, or if you wanted to close another day you would copy this part out paste it underneath Monday return false and then replace Monday with the zero zeros in there um, then after that uh, you wouldn't want to change any of this stuff or this stuff uh, so I think that's probably about everything that you'd need to change then when we come down and this is also something that's going to be quite interesting because it's going to help you um, figure out what it is you'd need to change to if you wanted to use this a bit differently but basically what we've got is there's two things here so there's this jQuery here that says that the need help header dot click function and then slide toggle this thing so that's targeting this so all this is for is that animation um, that you see when it opens out and closes when it's clicked on um, so that's that that's nothing to do with this part above the part that's to do with this part above is actually this right here so if so it's this is open function right here and so it's saying this code is saying if is open so based on what this stuff brings back then contact pop-up show now the reason why that works is because I've got on that contact pop-up uh, class right there I've got style display none so by default it will hide unless the, the jQuery tells it to show uh, and it will only tell it to show if it is open which is basically if it meets all of these different um, parameters I guess they're called um, so that's how that works right there uh, so you could obviously change that contact pop up like what we're, what we're looking at right here with this need help you could obviously change that to be anything you want that could be a sign or uh, some, some text on the website that says we're open uh, or like our store is open right now or something like that I mean um, you know the, the possibilities with this are really endless so um, another thing just to point out is I've got in the HTML here I've got this hidden hyphen XS that's a bootstrap class and basically what that does is that hides this element on mobile the reason for that is because on the mobile um, pretty much every client that I've got has a cookies um, note that, that's, that's shown on the website and it was looking really messy on a mobile where when you close the cookies message you had this need help underneath um, it was looking really quite bad so went about things in a slightly different way and just actually hid that um, but if you're in a country where that's not quite as much of a big deal then feel free to remove that hidden XS class or if you're not using bootstrap that won't actually do anything so you could remove it anyway but it's not going to hurt to leave it in uh, then the next thing after that we've got this on click G tag so this right here this is actually the Google Analytics tracking and what that's going to do is that's going to actually fire off an event uh, to, to say that we, that somebody's click need help when they click on that right there um, so that's going to be really useful for your tracking and then finally and this one's probably quite obvious but you'll want to replace this these zeros in here with your actual phone number you could put um, you know if you wanted to you could change that to an actual um, ahrefs tell phone number that when people click on it would you know automatically dial um, but obviously it doesn't really work very well on a desktop and um, 
it's not showing on mobile but in my use but you might want to change that if you did it's not too hard to do and then you just have to style it so yeah really not that hard to implement uh, and you just saw me do it in a few minutes and um, obviously the benefits of having this can really help your conversion rate and so it's really worth checking out so hopefully you enjoyed this video if you did make sure to leave a like and subscribe to the channel for more and I'll see you in the next one